NBC 15 Sports presents Friday Football Blitz. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Friday Football Blitz. We are excited that you are here, but we are sad because this is the last blitz of the season. Such a bummer. I'll miss hanging out with you, Andrew Lee. Our desks are literally two feet apart, Jocko. So that I shouldn't have to miss you then? <laughs> no, you don't All have to good. miss me. Such a great night because every team that wins tonight is going to the state championship game at Camp Randall Stadium. It's also said because if they don't win, the season's over with. So we got highs and lows. It's level four, that kind of thing, right? Peaks and valleys in this one, Jocko. All Teams right. punch like their tickets to the state championship, likely said. We're going to start with the big ones, right? Yeah, let's start with the biggest school, and we work our way down because it was so much easier to produce the show like that. That's why I get paid the big bucks, right? I, wait, I get paid? Late in the first, Wanaki. Oh, yeah. Taking on Kakana. There's Benjamin Lindley on a one-yard touchdown run. And Owen Elliott, a 30-yard field goal right before the halftime. And it's 10 to 7. Wanna key at the break. Sebastian Rasmussen. Great name all season, great plays all season. Three-yard touchdown run, three-play drive, all rushes. And then in the fourth quarter, Ben Lindley. Three yards, whoop, into the end zone. Then the interception to seal the deal for Lucas Hamilton. Wanaki headed back to where they belong, really, but. Yeah, their second home. 24 to 14 is the final, but Anderley, who will they play? They will play the Badger Badgers. They beat Sun Prairie East tonight. The cards don't wait to strike first. Drew Kavanaugh hitting Cooper White 50 yards Woo! out. That's quite a throw for a high schooler. Cards take the 6 nothing lead. Badgers respond. With a 60-yard QB keeper by J.P. Doyle. Off he goes, virtually untouched into the end zone. Seven to six Badgers. They're not done, though. First tutty was a long one. This one, a short one. This time, two yards out. And a not sad with the Badger TD. 14 to six. They will win this one and play at Camp Randall against Wanakee on Friday at one. Moving over to Division Three, the Stoughton Vikings taking on the Grafton Blackhawks. First play from scrimmage. Grafton flies high. Brady Hildgard drops back to pass. There's Jaden Teagues. 65 yards in all. It is 7-0. Orange and black. How about Drew Viney? On a fourth down play. With a nice pass, he finds Joe Whalen. Keep the drive alive. Mason Richter. We'll recover this fumble, so Stoughton plays so well tonight, but unfortunately Grafton plays a little bit better. They go on to win by a final score of 17-6. to Congratulations on a great season for the Vikings. Well, what are we going to do with ourselves once high school football is over, Anderley? Probably cry. I will cry tonight. Yeah. Well, well not, no, we until have, next we have week. Until next right. week. Then yeah, I'll but cry. we got the Packers. We still got the Badgers. Still give us our football fix, right? Right. We're good. We're Look. good, but we got so much football left in this particular show, so... Let's keep going, shall we? Division 4, Lodi and Baldwin, Baldwin Woodville. Blue Devils have outscored their opponents 222 to 22 Ooh. this year. Second quarter game tied at 7. The Blue Devils retaking the lead. Mason Lane on the keeper, yeah. finding some space and taking it in from 10 yards out. His second TD of the night. Lodi up 14 0. Game tied later on, though. Blue Devils wouldn't take long to respond. First play from scrimmage after Baldwin scores. Lane connects with Aiden Grosskep, and he's gone 74 yards to the house to make it 21-14 to Lodi. Blackhawks with a quick answer as well. Cal Smith airing it out to Gavin Sell, makes the leap and grab wow. in the back of the end zone into double coverage to tie things up at 21. In the second half, Lodi starts to pull away, though, up 35-21 to in the fourth. Brady pulls, takes the handoff, and runs it in for the six-yard score. 42-21 to Blue Devils, and that's the final of the play Luxembourg Casco on Thursday at 7. Coach's kid, Division 6 into Forest tonight. The Redbirds and their fans stay on Kiwani. The Storm come out of the gates like lightning. See what I did, Storm? Nice. After getting a four-down conversion, they get the first score of the game. Owen Carlson down the sidelines. Get out of my way, people. Guess what? He's going the distance. He's going for speed. Ain't nobody going to catch him. 7 nothing. Kiwani in the first. Back comes Darlington after a fake punt that would set up this play. Braylon Goble lobs one up for Reagan Jackson. And Jackson finds the end zone. And this game is all sorts of tied up. And the Redbirds are all sorts of fired up. Kiwani back on offense, but lose a handle. From ah! Reagan Jackson again. Right place, right time. First and 10, the Redbirds. Then it's Ty Christ. Gets the handoff. 
for Darlington. He rumbles into the end zone for the touchdown. Darlington wins 34 to 28 and are heading to the state finals. Next Thursday at one, they will play the Stratford Tigers. Hunting season is right around the corner and the Reedsville Panthers and the Blackhawk Warren Warriors are in the hunt for the state finals. Defenses doing their thing, holding things down early on, but it's the Warriors breaking it open here. A handoff to Owen Seafrod takes it all the way to the house. Panthers looking to answer, going for it on fourth and one, and the Warriors think they have the stop, but it's a game of inches for a reason. Refs call in for a measurement and confirm what the Warriors knew all along. That will set up this next drive here. This time a handoff to Lane Marty, and he's in for six. Warriors beat the Panthers 36 to seven, and they will face the Edgar Wildcats in the state finals Thursday at 10 a.m. Lane Marty, that sounds that like a, a wrestling name. That's Lane a great Marty. name. I wouldn't mess with that kid. Probably he not. Probably wouldn't mess with me either, because I'm old. He's like, dude, just go away. All right, of course, we'll be at the camp for all the state finals. Can't wait for that. Big thanks to our director, Eric, producer, Trevor, our photog, Siler, Kurt, Jason. Score updates from Ben and Abigail and Juliana and Maria, our bosses, Jess and Don, because we want to, you know, be nice and say stuff nice about them. And Loby for doing all of the work that is too hard and too hard to explain. So thank you to all those people. Yeah, it's and been fun. Too. It has been fun. Great first season so far. We'll see you at the after party. And Jacko, got some more sports coming up after the break, right? Yep, we'll be right back.